Hi, welcome to the print and dye borders at Clashine. During this short video, I will share with you how I laid out, planted up and developed this wonderful addition to my off the grid studio. My name is Nicola Brown. I'm a textile artist and I use leaves, plants, seed pods, onion skins and bark to color my textiles. I garden in a cottage garden style and I like to work with plants that are easy to grow and that don't take a lot of maintenance. If this is something that might interest you, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? And let's just go back and have a look at where this garden began. The project began in the autumn of 2019 when I cleared a space in the garden or the land behind the back of my house. I use the term garden loosely because it was actually a corner that was just a jumble of wild briars or blackberry and grass. A timber wool insulated garden studio off the grid was installed at the back of the plot and then the topsoil which had been removed by the digger was saved and this is what you can see in the pile on the right hand side. This topsoil is what I used to put into the print and dye borders. While I was in Portugal facilitating a textile retreat, a friend laid out a timber edging to what would form the new borders. I would have loved these to be more organic in shape, but sometimes you just have to run with what you have. I cleared them out by hand and then was ready to infill with the topsoil. On the 4th and 5th of July 2019, I planted up the borders. I used a minimum of three of any one individual plant and up to five, planting them in either clumps or curved sort of swathes with cottage garden style. It's nice for plants to mingle and it's more effective when you have several plants of the one variety rather than just individual plants in the border. Weed suppressing membrane and wood chip was laid on all the paths. And for that first growing season and in dry spells last summer, I had to water copiously. By late spring and early summer 2020, it was clear that the plants were establishing extremely well. Some were self-seeding readily and I was able to give them to friends and plant them in slightly barer patches. And as the summer progressed, the garden really took on a life of its own. One of my great pleasures is listening to the bees. Many varieties of butterfly were really welcome visitors too. And as you can see from these images, they particularly love the Verbena bonarensis. Towards the end of the summer, I was absolutely amazed to have a visit for over a week of this beautiful comma butterfly. These are rare in Ireland. They have a jaggedy edge to the outside of their wing and they are absolutely beautiful. My vision for a cottage garden style of dye and print border really came to fruition. I am thrilled how many plants are self seeding, the variety of wildlife that the garden attracts and the fact that I can just walk outside the studio door to collect vegetation to use to color or print my textiles. The colours are beautiful and I also love how the different heights of plant and the different textures of their leaves add to this cottage garden feel. So how does the garden look today, just under two years after it was laid out and planted? It's the beginning of June. 2021 
and the print and dye borders outside the off the grid studio at Clashine are really growing amazingly well. We've had a lot of rain recently. So the IBC tank, the intermediary bulk container tank that you see there, that squarish white container, that's taking all the rainwater off the roof of the studio. And I can then use that water later in the season in the garden as and when is necessary. Although it is actually only early in the summer, 2021, the comfrey behind me in this border is already at the stage where I can harvest it for the dye pots. I'm going to keep that to a separate video for those of you who are interested in textile art and dyeing. This video is all about the development of the cottage style borders. I will be sharing other videos in the future as well about the rest of the garden here at Clashine. So do consider subscribing if that's something that would interest you. I hope you've enjoyed this glimpse into the developing print and dye borders at Clashine. Whether it's a misty early morning or a late autumn evening with friends enjoying a drink in the garden, this cottage style and the plants that I'm growing give me so much pleasure. I absolutely love being able to walk outside the studio to harvest plants to colour my textiles. If you're interested in following the development of the gardens or my textile work, please consider subscribing to the channel and joining me for my next update.